This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. If you've got a Brother FB100 floppy disk drive that doesn't work anymore, the most common reason for the drive to fail is that it might have a worn out belt. The belt looks like a black rubber band and here's an old worn out one. And here's a new one. It's pretty easy to change the belt and my husband John has been teaching me how to do it. Let's get started. Here's the front of the drive where you slip in the floppy disk and I'm going to turn it over and take out the first two screws so that I can remove the case. Those two screws are here and here. Once those two screws are out, I can turn the drive over, gently lift up the back of the top of the case, and pull it out. Always be gentle working on these drives. They are old plastic parts. My next step is to take off these two screws, which are in plastic ferrules here on the left-hand side of the drive. Now I turn the drive over again and I'm going to take off the next two screws that hold the case on the front of the drive. So to get the front cover off I'm going to have to remove this screw and this screw. Now John has warned me that there are some little loose parts that I don't want to dislodge on the front of the drive. So he suggested I tip it up this way and lift the drive away from the front, which is what I've done. And I'm going to take the front of the drive and slide it out of my way, leaving all those little loose parts exactly where they belong. Now there's a little circuit board on the front side that has two little screws that I have to remove next. These are going to keep me from being able to take the other piece of the case off. And of course, as you take screws out, put them in a safe place and keep track of where you got them. Now to get the last section of case off, I need to take out this screw and this screw. Now I very gently lift up this outer case and lift it over to the side. There's a connector that I have to take off or else this case won't come up. Let me zoom in on that connector. There's this little connector over here that I have to get apart or else this case won't come off. And here it is with the connector taken apart. Once you're down to the naked drive, you have two connectors to remove along the side here. This one and this one. Then you have four screws to remove. John told me to use a flathead screwdriver. I've got a little small one. Even though these look like Phillips screws, they've got a good slot that works with a flathead. One, two, three, four screws need to come out. I'm going to turn the drive around 180 degrees so that those connectors are on my right. Lifting up that circuit board, you can see what's inside. And what's inside is this old worn out belt, which is on this wheel, and then it comes around this tiny wheel here called a capstan. That's what we need to replace. So you simply take your finger and take that right off and out of the drive. Here I am with my replacement belt, and I simply lay it around the large wheel, being careful not to put a twist in it, and then bring it over to the little wheel. And then I'm going to turn it around and around and just make sure that there's no twist and that it spins properly. And that's the replacement. From here on out, it's reassembly. Starting with the four screws that held the motherboard.
two connectors alongside the motherboard here and here. One small connector that needs to be put together before the case can be placed into position. Once the case is in place, one screw here and one screw here. Now I've turned it on in to show two tiny screws here. They have to line up with the little hole below the tiny circuit board. The case front, which has loose parts here and here, is in front of the camera now and I'm going to take the floppy drive and bring it down so that this red LED goes in this little spot right here there's a little square box so that this switch goes in the center of that box and I'll just position that a little wiggling and finagling once that's in position then this is setting down on the case on each side nice and tight and everything is fitting together properly. When you slide this on off switch up the red into on position then the red shows and when it's off then only the dark gray shows. Also if you press eject it ejects. Holding the top in place I'm going to put a screw here and the second screw that holds that front in place goes there. Now I have the two screws with ferrules to install and there's a little hole under that screw and it has to line up. And one more screw and ferrule to line up and install right here. Even screwed down, this little aluminum shield is not going to be tight. It floats a little bit. Install the bottom cover by lifting it at an angle and getting the tabs into the front and then swinging it down. Then you'll have to flip it over and put in the final two screws. The last two screws go here and here. Of course, this floppy drive is old technology, but I'll be using it to get patterns that I bought on floppy disks into my knitting machine and then save them using newer technology.